Don. Don. Don! I don't think the sound bath is working for me. I'm sorry, I don't like it. Why, why not? It's amazing. It's, it brings up memories, you know? It just brings them right up to the surface. Like, um, the memory of the time I lost my brother in the haunted house. Guess that's kind of nice, right? No, it isn't actually. He's a ghost now. Look, I like harsh, intense digital noise, like a dump truck or a Mr. Robot or like clicking on a mouse, you know what I mean? If sound baths aren't your thing, uh -huh. you bring in your own therapeutic sounds and we'll work with that. I think we actually should talk about your aggression. Uh, no, you know what I'm gonna do is go make music with a robot. Like no, Jamie, your idea, no, right? Jamie, I'm gonna go Jamie, do that. The session is not over. It's Hi, I'm Jamie Loftus. I'll be testing the analog versus the digital to answer the question. Can everything in your life be improved by machines? Definitely. This is Robot Takeover. In spite of Don's garbage taste in music, music is allegedly one of humanity's greatest accomplishments. And to be fair, they have produced some bangers. Just look at SpongeBob the Musical on Broadway. Just look at the entire discography of Young Thug. However, Almost no musician today can even hit a note without using computer technology. So does that mean that robots are just the better musicians? And if human musicians are so great, then why does every drummer I raw dog end up abandoning me? To make today's competition fair, we've chosen both a human and a robot musician who are technically still in beta. Let's meet today's competitors. So for your human musician today, when you hear the word beta, who do you think of? That's right, it's me. I actually have way more music experience than you would think. My qualifications include the following. Passing out at a chorus concert in fourth grade. Nine years of oboe lessons from a very sinister man named Mr. Knox. Passing out at a chorus concert in seventh grade. Two piano lessons that I hated. And finally, passing out at a chorus concert in 11th grade. So yeah, I think I know what I'm doing. I come equipped with a keyboard and oboe, and what human musician would be any good without a groupie that they regularly emotionally abuse? Remember my robo-dog? He's dirty from when I dragged him through the street. And our robot musician today, we've got a software currently in beta called Amper, and it's an artificial intelligence technology that makes royalty-free music for whatever it is you need. Hey, uh, robo-dog, who's your favorite musician? Oh, thank you. I also love my art that is always good and never bad. You're so sweet. I would love to make out. I'll lean in. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a look into the human musician experience. I'm gonna be using what Mozart refers to as the best instruments here, I'm using the oboe and the electric keyboard. Let's get a note out of this thing. That's not good, let's try another. Well, the oboe is broken. Unfortunately, I've already allotted an extensive solo in my song, but that's the musician's dilemma. Okay, so you've got your classical stuff on lock with the oboe, but now we're gonna wanna bring in the funk. I've got an electric keyboard here, and I'm gonna use all two of my piano lessons from 2005 in order to compose a beautiful original song. So I think I wanna sing about love because I'm a sensitive player. But mainly you're just gonna wanna find a couple of chords that work for you. I find it's helpful to put your finger down on one and then maybe skip one, try another, then try one of the little guys up top. That sounds like trash, try, try a little guy. Okay, you got two hands. And that's how you make a music. So the lyric writing process is the most complicated part of being a human musician. You gotta sort of just lay it out there. What matters to you the most? So I've been going at it for a while. Well, let's see what we've got. Let's just, you know, throw some, throw some tracks on the, uh, in the thing. Okay, let's try something. Okay. If my scooter could talk, would it be English or Japanese? Why can't my scooter talk? So that's just like something off the top of my head. It's kind of a musical genius thing. I'll keep workshopping it. Anyways, back to the drawing board. 
Yeah. All right, so let's see what Amper can do. Basically, we just had to answer a few questions, create new project. Okay, we're gonna choose simple. I'd like for them to use the same genre that I use, a 90s R&B like sex ballad. So let's see what it's got. Select your style. Let's go with 90s pop, perfect. Select your mood. Mm, I'm gonna say Robo Dog. Tender, exactly. Okay, how long should it be? Let's just cap it out at 30 seconds. And music. Yeah, music, it's ready. And finally, we're going to have a professional music critic review my song and the robot song and see what she thought. So we have an opinion from Nina Corcoran, who is a music writer at Pitchfork and Consequence of Sound. She's an editor at Dick Boston, the whole bit. She listened to both of our songs and she sent us along some opinions. So let's hear what she had to say about my song. Stupid dog, gonna make your program glitch. Stupid robot dog, gonna turn you into my wife. Gonna ruin your whole f life. Gonna cover you in human skin. Okay, so the mood, the mood's a little all over the place, but I will say that I think it's kind of nice how you took a, f a dog, I want a f a dog by Blink 182, well known song, and uh, I don't know that song. it. I like that you changed it to be a little more subverted, but I wish there was some more melody. I feel like, uh, Okay, uh, some thoughts right off the top. Unnecessary jab at me specifically right at the end. I would argue that this is an R&B song. For argument's sake, let's hear what she had to, to say about the robot song. Just to recap, that was a professional music critic who just said that the Amper AI whooped my ass at musical composition. That was humbling. Uh, I think I have all I need to make my decision and um, you can read Nina Corcoran's music reviews, but after that, I don't know. This is one of the most difficult judgments I've ever had to make in my life because I've never had a real problem and rarely leave this building. On one hand, there's my song, The Human Song, an undeniable banger from the heart, a rare gem, a love letter to uh, an inanimate object that you f On the other hand, we've got the robot audio, which sounds like an actual song that you might hear on purpose. So. While I'm usually biased in favor of robots, the one thing I love more than robots is myself. So I think we have a first time ever. I'm calling it a tie. And I think the best case scenario is to fuse these two songs together to create one piece of cursed audio that after the listener hears it, they'll only have seven days to live. What's up, Loftus Nation? You asked for a music episode? We delivered a music episode. You're gonna wanna like. You're gonna wanna smash that sub beat. We read every single comment. You have an idea for something to do with my head different? Leave it in the comments, we'll do it. I pickpocketed Jeff Bezos, and we can do whatever we want here. I'll mail you my blood. See you next time.